Chrishell, season seven of Selling Sunset. Ooh. Where does this stack up with the six that came before it for you? Um, well, it kind of feels like, you know, in Jenga, and it keeps getting higher and higher, but it definitely feels like in my top lower, <laughs> that's where I'd put it. On the top, I definitely feel like it's a, one of our strongest seasons, but it, it feels precarious. We're, <laughs> we're really going for it. The foundation gets shakier and shakier <laughs> exactly. as we go. I mean, this season is hit after hit after hit at you. It's a lot. I just feel like maybe there's feelings left. I'm losing brain cells on this conversation. Given everything you've gone through, everything you've given the show, shared with the show, do you start to think about how much longer you're willing to give? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all the time, um, just because obviously I'm so happy to be here and I'm so grateful for everything it provides, but it is a trying position to be in and you always just have to weigh that out, you know? You can't do a show like this and not live your life open um, and yet there are so many elements that it feels scary and vulnerable to live that way. Um, but as, as long as I'm doing the show, I know that it only works if you do it authentically. So I think that's a conversation you have at, at each stopping point, you know, to be like, you know, okay, are you gearing up to go 100? You know, because there really is no in between, in my opinion. Yeah, I also think you might leave filming a season being like, I'm never doing this again. And then you get time away, you're not filming, and you're like, oh, I can do it again. And it happens. Do you think about how much longer? Like, do you have an end date in mind? Or are you in this as long as, until the wheels fall off Selling Sunset? I think I really feel like as long as it serves everyone involved, you know? So I feel like I definitely get a lot from the show. Of course, there's gonna be good and bad that comes with it, but as long as the good outweighs the bad, then I, you know, can show up and be a team player, even in the most ridiculous scenarios. But, you know, if that balance gets off, then it's time to rethink things. But right now, I feel like, as crazy as it got, <laughs> you know, I still feel like, you know, some of these girls are like family to me. We really do have a good time. And I can still kind of blow off the silly stuff because, you know, this is not what life is about. So let me try and be grateful and give a deep eye roll and move on. <laughs> <laughs> we live for the deep eye roll. Fans have watched you through love, heartbreak, love, heartbreak, love, the love, it seems. What does it mean to you to get to welcome fans into this chapter of your life? Obviously, it was um, a little scary at first, and I feel like I've really gotten to a place in my life where I am so happy and so fulfilled that I really appreciate people that, you know, First of all, that were just supporters from the beginning, but then people that also that kept an open mind. And, you know, being able to, you know, speak to the people that maybe are afraid to live whatever their truth is because of judgment, you know, and that can touch many different topics. Um, because I really feel like it makes a difference in how you move in the world. And so, yeah, I just feel like it's, it can be scary at times, but that being said, I feel like, um, it's important to you know have representation. I think that was the original reason why G and I felt it would be nice to show a little bit of our lives together. And you know we're just so happy. So to be honest with you, it doesn't give for good drama, um, but I feel <laughs> like it's nice to kind of show a, a, a happy side to you know the other things you get in the show. It's nice to have a you know. A you little... need the balance. Yes. Your wedding makes it onto the show in a way, this yeah. season. We decided to hop a plane to Vegas and have Elvis marry us. We didn't put the time and effort to go and do it legally and do the paperwork. You know, there's no importance in that because we know what it is to us, but the future is really, really bright for us. Why was it important for you to do that but off camera? When we originally got married, we knew that it would be a controversial topic. And so I really try and constantly find this balance of, um, you know, just like wanting to keep my peace bubble. You know, I've said this from the very beginning with Selling Sunset. And so there are certain times where I'm not ready to share it right away. And I do feel like I, I share a lot and I always will share, but maybe not exactly when it happens. So I feel like once we felt comfortable, you know, really letting the world in, we did. And yeah, so I feel like um, we wanted to keep a, a few things private and um, and just share it when we were ready. You didn't make it legal. Are there any plans to change that? 
Uh, there are. Okay. Again, we'll share that in due time, but I feel like, um, yeah, I mean, to me, I've done it that way and it didn't mean anymore. <laughs> so um, we know what it means. And, you know, uh, of course, we're going to deal with that at some point. You know, we plan on being together forever and having family, and those are the times that that decision really makes a difference. Um, so right now, it, to me, it, it, you know, if somebody wants to make it, you know, uh, some kind of a judgment because of that, that's fine. It truly means nothing, that piece of paper. <laughs> <laughs> Only to the government. But <laughs> when you're dealing with, you know, uh, health things and family and things like that, of course, then, you know, it's different. Totally. We do see you talk about what the next chapter looks like for you and G on the season. We're excited to adopt at some point, and it's one okay. of those things that at any point, you know, we can do that. I mean, I don't know what it's gonna look like. Maybe a baby, maybe a six-year-old. I have no idea when that day comes. Uh, we both are really passionate about being able to do that together, and I, I'm excited. I love that. Family planning, you're open to adoption now. Do you have any updates to share or a timeline for any of that? I don't yet. I mean, it's one of those things I feel very similar to, you know, of course, when that time comes, we'll be super excited to share, you know, um, as of right now, you know, there's a lot of things that we're, you know, working on um, that it's not the time to let everybody in on because it, it is obviously harder and there's a lot of hoops to go through. Um, but that being said, uh, we are excited about it and um, we will happily share when we have something to share. I love that you've learned the bubble is important. Stay in the love bubble. Stay protect the love the bubble. bubble. <laughs> Which can be tough when it's so funny how life moves of you get engaged. When are you getting married? You get married. When are you having kids? I'm doing that to you now. I've received all those questions. Yes. How do you balance those pressures with just trying to live in that bubble? To be honest with you, I have to say, doing reality television is a great way to get out of your head and be like, I don't care what you think, I'll do it the way I wanna do it because you're so bombarded with um, you know, people's opinions that you have to sink or swim and the way to swim is to get to a place where you know what makes you happy. And of course I want to you know, extend understanding to the viewers because they do feel an ownership to know because I have shared my life with them. So I try and do it in a, in a kind way, but it's like, you know, it, if you were in my shoes, you would understand. There are times that you have to protect the bubble and share when you want to. And then, you know, of course, be excited when you are ready to that. To yeah, share. and just know that just because you signed yourself up to share your life does not mean you signed yourself up to share every aspect of your life all yeah. the time. So I never get really frustrated with the questions because I do understand, you know, well, you decided to do a reality show. Um, but then they have to also, you know, I'm only gonna do it when I, you know, the peace bubble is number one. <laughs> <laughs> Protect the peace. At the end of the day, the only thing I want is peace. 